Hyatt Slater, aka Science Toy Maker. This video and its linked text page are about making the Spinny Bug Foam Walk Long Glider, which can be surfed on a wave of air. The Spinny Bug is a good first glider. It's easy to make, a bit tricky to launch. It flies very slowly, good for crowded flying in a house. Details for each step are on the companion text page linked below. Reference the numbers in the corner. You'll need a sheet of thin half millimeter EPS foam, which you can make yourself or buy inexpensively, both linked below. Print out the spinny bug pattern. No scaling. Cut exactly on the outer edge of the solid black outside lines. Put the pattern on the foam. The long side should line up exactly. On the short sides, there should be an equal amount of foam sticking out of each end. I'm coloring the tape only so it shows up more on camera. Tape the pattern to the foam so each of the four strips has some tape on each end. Do not fold the tape over to the other side. Cut exactly down the middle. Each half makes one glider. Cut again through the middle of one so there are two strips. Cut on the black solid line on each end, which will separate the paper from the foam. Line up the ends of a strip of foam and fold exactly in the middle, like a V. Repeat with the other. Push the double ends together and use a small piece of tape on one side. Flip it over and tape the other side. When you put it on the table like this, the top should be about as high as the pattern is wide. Here it's not high enough. If it's too low like this, the glider slips sideways uncontrollably. If it's too thin, stretch it out gently. Here it's too high. If it's too fat like this, the glider is inefficient, difficult to keep up. If it's too fat, Press on the ends a little to squish it narrower. When launching, the glider should glide away from you, not toward. You need to start it in the right direction by swinging the bottom away from you. It's not like a wheel where the top goes in the same direction of travel. This rotates differently with the front flipping up and back. It can get caught on your fingers as you try to launch. You can also launch it like this. Be careful not to unconsciously tip the spinny bug because it'll go that way. There's a separate video just about keeping the gliders up linked below. Briefly, here's what to aim for. As you start flying, you'll need something to deflect the air upward. Cardboard, a pizza box, a cereal box, even a large book. My favorite for a big, lightweight, and durable board is a plastic kind of election sign. Never let the glider get low on the board, and never let the glider get ahead of you. It should always be on the verge of blowing over the top. Here, I'm doing everything wrong. I launch low. The glider's just a little too far ahead, and it drifts down to my knees. When I wise up, getting close to the glider and keeping it high on the board, it goes up. If the glider always goes down slowly, try this. Make it blow over the top a few times. Then keep it just short of blowing over. To deflect the upward wave of air, make sure you hold the glider almost vertically up. If you don't, there's not enough lift. So keep the board more like a wall, not like a floor. Unless you want to land. You steer the glider by pushing it in the right direction with the board. There's a lag time, so you have to be patient and your movements have to be smooth. Following where it goes will not work. The air needs to be very still. If you fly near other people, the glider will be thrown around by turbulent air. Nice recovery. Outside air is rarely still enough to fly. Recently I've discovered that on a good day, I can barely keep it up with two arms. 
My daughter likes to experiment, and she's very persistent. What else can we do with spinning gliders? Of course, the most advanced flying is teaching other people how to fly. If this video was helpful, make a comment or send an email. It's encouraging to know of your success.